Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I'll be showing you that uh, how basically you can export the data which is present inside HTML table and uh, you can download it as an Excel file inside your PHP application. You will see basically this is we are displaying the users list out there. All this data is coming from a MySQL database. You can see it is having this table out there which contains two records out there, name, age, country. Three columns are there and two rows are there. We are displaying this data here inside this table and we have got a button out there which is simply will export this data here inside your uh, basically into an excel file so if i now click this basically this button out there you will see that it will download this file as the attachment which is an excel file here you will see if i open this file here you will see basically this is the data which is converted to excel file which contains uh, four columns id name age country and this two column two rows are there so we will be showing you how basically we can achieve this process using uh, a php library called as uh, ph uh, let me show you the library name so this is basically the library name guys simple xlx gen this is basically the library you can export the data to an excel file with the help of this library it's a specific php library and it supports various this is basically the documentation which is given here so we will be looking at a very basic example on how to export this data so all the source code is given in the description of this video guys i have written a complete step by step blog post where i have explained in detail about each step so you can go to that blog post and simply you can see read this blog post alongside with watching this video so first of all guys you will see the directory structure here first of all uh, this is basically the library code here which is simple xlsgen.php so just make this file here and copy paste all the source code from the description of this video and here we will create two files which will be the, the main file which export.php here it is uh, carrying out the conversion process. So inside your index.php guys, uh, inside our table, we will write this table here. So this will be a simple bootstrap table where we will be getting all the things which uh, from the MySQL table. So dbconfig is basically a file here. You just need to create this file. So it will basically hold the connection code for your MySQL database. So just put here host name root and this is your database name. So we are successfully connecting to the database. So just write this code from the description of the video. So now guys, if you open this application, so no table will be there. You will see this heading user list and this button out there. And what we need to do is that you will see we need to simply create a database inside your PHP my admin simply create this table, which is users. The structure is simple. ID is the primary key. Name is voucher age int country is voucher. So four columns are there so already two records are present right here we can also insert one more record out there let's suppose i say matthew let's suppose 46 and one more record we can add here so click on the go option so now you can see two more records are added you will see now there are four records out there so now we simply need to read this data which is present inside the mysql database so right here inside your index.php we are including the bootstrap library guys so for styling purposes it is not mandatory so right here we will be displaying the table so just right here table close the table tag and inside this guys we will have basically our head portion and basically this will be having a table row so little bit of uh, formatting is there you need to format this so after this we will have uh, four columns out there which is name id name age, age and country it is little bit difficult to write uh, html code here inside php because of the formatting so right here guys basically inside after this table head we will have the table body so simply close the table body and inside this we will use a simple for each loop so we will now write the php code which is necessary so this was a php code so right here we will declare the id variable which will be zero and here we will be writing a simple sql statement here we will select star from users which is a table name and here we will be having the result coming from this query so we will simply say mysql i 
underscore query. So just put a semicolon here, cause of the error is here. MySQL and also here at the end of each line you need to put a semicolon for the error to take not to take place. So basically this is a method. You need to pass the connection object that we have, and then the SQL statement like this. And then we will have a simple if condition, guys. Here, MySQL I. We will simply compare if any data is returned to us. MySQL I number of rows. And here we will pass the result. If it is greater than zero, in that case, we perfectly know that we have got some data. So now we can use the for each loop here. So again, you need to put a semicolon here. So we can use a for each loop. And here we can simply say result as row. So basically here we can simply first of all increment the id variable to 1 just do it and after this we will simply close this we will close this tag here like this so just close this let me see here Uh, yeah, let me just paste this code, guys, and then explain to you because of the formatting, I am finding difficult to write this code. Let me just write this. So yeah, let me paste it here. The full table. So this is your table, guys. Basically, here we are using the for each loop and for each property here present inside. This is the ID, name, age, country. So basically, we are using this MySQL I num rows and MySQL I query variable or method. And now, basically, if you refresh your browser, you will see all the data coming here inside this table. So you can see it is not displaying it perfectly because we missed. I have not copy pasted all the source code, so we missed the Bootstrap table. So just make sure that you copy paste all the source code here. So simply paste it. So now you will see basically we have assigned the bootstrap class to the table which is table, table bordered and table striped just for the styling purpose. Then we have four headings, id, name, age, country and then we are fetching the data from the table using the select statement and if let me refresh it. You will now see the data here, id, name, age, country. So as I click this button guys, you will see export.php is not found. So now we just need to create this file in the root directory so that we can export this data to an Excel file. So export PHP. So just create this file. So right here inside this PHP, we will be writing the code. So just open the PHP tag. And first of all, we will be including the DB config file guys, which is holding the connection code for the PHP. Simply include this. And then also we will be including the file, which will be simple. This is basically the library code which is stored here. We are including this file also. And then we will have a simple array of user skies and this will be an array. And basically this will contain four properties. So first will be the ID, then we will have the name and then we will have the age of the person. And then we will lastly we have the country. So four columns are there. And after this we will put the ID to zero. We will use the same code once again. We will put the SQL statement here, which is select. Again, we will read all the data from the table. So select star from the table name, which is users. And then we will have the result, which is uh, MySQL I query. And basically here you will pass your connection object and the actual SQL statement. And then we will again, we'll have a if condition guys basically will check if mysql i num rows is greater than zero so in that case we perfectly know that some result is there you can see that so inside this we will use a for each loop basically for each loop we will pass result as row so inside this we will increment id to plus by one and then basically we will have the users 
and here we will be using a method guys which is called as array merge so this will simply merge multiple arrays into a single array that we want in order to export it to excel file so here we will be passing the users which is there this will be the array here so this array you can see it is a basically holding this only this element which is the header row which is id name age country and basically we will be appending the appending it to this users array and we will be constructing an array here which is which will hold basically a array here which will be for the id then we have row we will extract this by name here this is dollar row and then we have similarly we have age and similarly we have country that's all so just put a semicolon right after so that's all guys you will now see your array is ready so now we can simply use this users array for just after you after this if condition we will create a variable here which will excel x and basically we will initialize this library which is simple x generation and we will use this method which is from array and basically we will pass the array of users that we want to export to excel file and this library contains a method guys if you want to download the excel file as an attachment you will use this method which is download as and here you just need to give it a, a file name which is i can give here users.xlx this is a extension of the excel file that's all this is all the source code guys which is needed to download the html data inside an excel file if i now refresh it if i now press this button you will see your data will be downloaded in a users.xls file if you open this you will see four rows are there and four columns are there so in this easy way guys you can export your data to an excel file in php and thank you very much for watching this video all the source code is given in the description of this video and i will be seeing you in the next video